Welcome to the wonderful world of dance, bringing you exclusive interviews with top dancers and choreographers and reviews of the world's best companies across the globe. You can find lots more on our website at thewonderfulworldofdance.com. Hi, this is Savannah Saunders from The Wonderful World of Dance. I'm here with Carrie Ann Onwe, one of the choreographers for the Zoo Nation Dance Company. Thanks for joining us, Carrie Ann. Thank you for having me. So, I'm really keen to learn some more about the Zoo Nation company. Tell us about uh, the company. The company um, has basically been going since early um, 2000s and was set up uh, by a wonderful woman by the name of Kate Prince, who's the artistic director of the company. And, uh, yeah, it's basically uh, a group of, started off as a group of individuals who all shared the, the same love of, of street dance, basically. Um, and Kate has always had a massive interest in theatre and telling stories and wanted to join the two together to make hip-hop theatre. And in a nutshell, that's basically what, you know, the company does. Obviously, we've taken uh, quite a few years to get to a point where we are now. Um, but it's to create a fun, what I call youth-friendly hip-hop theatre where everybody from, you know, children of four or five years old to your grandma can come and see the shows that we do. And the shows are really exciting. I, I saw, uh, I think it may have been Groove On Down The Road. Oh, yeah, that was our Zoo Nation Youth Company that did that one, yeah. Yeah, and that was... Uh, a really exciting experience and I just remember being in the audience and the, the crowd going sort of wild really just <laughs> absolutely loving like Zoo Nation and loving the dance and it was yeah, it was a great day oh brilliant I'm so pleased and that's the thing I think a lot of audiences um when you say hip-hop I think people have a very uh still quite um a naive, not naive, but you know, a small idea of, of what that hip hop could be. Yeah. Um, there's sometimes some quite negative connotations that come with that. And what Zoo Nation very much try and promote is the, the great side of hip hop culture and actually what is really fun and fresh and exciting about uh, the dance and everything that, that comes with it. The, you know, the MCing, the uh, graffiti, the, the knowledge of, of hip hop culture. It's, it's all something that is very special and can be shared with everybody and it's about promoting that positivity within it. Absolutely and how, how would you sort of describe the, the hip-hop street dance scene in London? I think it's one of the fastest growing in, in the world to be honest. I know we have obviously got major influences from Europe and from America but I think it's something that I mean, I, I didn't grow up in London. I, I grew up in a little island called Guernsey. Um, but I think it's having taught lots of um, kids, adults, teenagers here in London, I just think it's something that people can really, really relate to, uh, not just in London, but any city around the UK. I think it's been a really great outlet for a lot of young people who um, might find it quite hard to... Uh, express themselves in maybe other ways yeah. um, and it's just something that I think everybody can relate to in a way whether it's music whether it's movement whether like you've just said it's, it's something that you can go and watch and really you know it, it, it makes you excited about watching it I think there's something in it for everybody absolutely and I think it's a, a great way of also bringing new audiences and young audiences to, to dance as well oh absolutely hit the nail on the head because everybody wants to do something that is most current and you know as much as ballet and jazz and tap and all these styles are still incredibly important I think for, for dancers, dance artists, choreographers, it is um, a style that is becoming so so popular, it's had this massive massive burst and I think what's really attractive about it is you know, if you want to be a ballerina, it's, it's kind of something you're a bit born into. You've got to have the good feet, you've got to have the turnout and all that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, with street dance, it's it's just a little bit more um, accepting of everyone, I think. Um, you know, if you've got rhythm and determination to get the certain techniques of different styles, I, th I think it just lays itself a little bit more open for everybody to try. And you're a dancer yourself and also a choreographer. Um, I am, yeah. How, tell me about your approach to uh, choreographing new acts. Uh, it really depends what I'm doing and, and who for, really. Uh, with Zoo Nation, 
there's always a very clear story, there's always very clear direction from Kate about uh, what she requires from a scene or what, you know, part of the story we might be on at that point and what is needed to be expressed. Um, for me, I get a lot of my inspiration from the music and again, when working with Zoo Nation, that's all something that is discussed very early on about, you know, what the scene needs, how that sounds, how that might look, so that all the elements, the movement element, the music, the, uh, the direction, everything comes together uh, and marries up completely. And for me, that gives me a very clear thought line of, of how this choreography needs to come out. Um, when I'm doing stuff that's uh, more just my own personal thing, again, it's, it's I'm more led by music. It'll be... I might have my iPod on shuffle and, you know, something will pop out of me and it might be the story that's within a certain song. It might be a way that I'm particularly feeling and I feel that this song has amplified that for me. Um, and I, I feel like that's pretty much what starts the cogs turning and what, you know, makes me freestyle and what makes me create this piece. So tell me about uh, the upcoming uh, show that's being performed at Saddler's Wells. Remixed, which uh, Into the Hood actually started uh, years ago, back in uh, 2005, I believe, um, and everybody absolutely loved it. It, it did uh, quite a few years on the circuit, on and off at different places, the Novello Theatre, um, the South Bank Centre Royal Festival Hall, it went up to Edinburgh for some of the festivals up there, and uh, I think Kate basically kept getting asked, when is this going to come back, when is this show going to come back? Um, and so we decided to do an updated version of it. So we, uh, we've changed some of the music, we've changed some of the choreography. And it premiered in London last November. And they've just literally finished a UK tour. So they finished off in Manchester. Yeah. And they've had a little bit of a, a, a break. And yeah, we're back 4th till the 21st of May at the Peacock Theatre. And it will basically be the last um, sort of run of it for now, so to speak. So if, if anybody wants to catch it, then they've got those th three weeks in May before uh, we take a slightly longer break from it. Well, it sounds like a really exciting uh, production. And so today you're you're up at Saddler's Wells. Are you in prep getting prepared for the, the run? Uh, no, we're actually, I was actually talking with the stage manager about the run and about uh, hopefully some other projects that Zoo Nation's got coming up. But, um, but I know the cast is super excited to be back in London and I think um, again, as I was saying before, I think it's such a great show for anybody to come and see. There's a little bit of uh, something in it for everyone. Uh, it's uh, if anybody knows of Into the Woods, it's just a hip hop twist on on the Into the Woods storyline. Um, so yeah, a, a fun show for all. That sounds absolutely fantastic. And finally, sort of, what's the future for yourself, Carrie Ann? What are you What are you working on next with Zoo Nation? Um, well, with Zoo Nation, there's, there's always something bubbling underneath, so uh, we're hopefully going to do some work with uh, Zoo Nation News this summer, that's all sort of still in talks at the moment, um, but really excitedly we've got Mad Hatter's Tea Party coming back at the end of the year, um, so that I, I performed in that and was um, one of the uh, choreographers, because we've only done that show once before I'm dying to get back into that. Um, it was such a fun show to do, really, really hard, but a really fun show to do. Um, and I think for me personally, it's just seeing uh, what I would like to do uh, creatively in the future. I've got a few ideas in my head that I'd like to sort of thrash out, which I try and do whenever I have uh, any free time. Because um, as much as I love doing work with Zoo Nation and, and colleges and, you know, other companies, uh, I very much also want to be able to do something myself. Yeah. And what's great is that I've got support from Kate, from Zoo Nation, from all friends and family to do that. It's just really deciding on, on an idea that I would like to take forward and, you know, go through the whole funding process and all the rest of it. Well, that sounds like you've got some exciting projects coming up, so you must sort of keep us in, in touch with what's uh, what's around the corner. Really exciting. Oh, I will. To, yeah, it'd be really exciting to sort of see how, how this progresses. And uh, look forward to checking out Into the Hoods for the, for the run in London. Brilliant. Thank you so much. It's so lovely. Thank you very much for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe. We've got some incredible interviews coming up with principal ballerinas and renowned choreographers. We love dance and ballet, and we hope you'll love us.
Join us on Facebook and Twitter.